All right, but uh, let's talk about the uh, the big story from The Verge. Apple announces a new flagship M2 processor. So we've talked so much about the M1 on here and how great it is. Well, that sucks now. The M2 <laughs> is where it's at. And why is the M2 better and why, why should we? Because that's how it? numbers work. Well, two isn't necessarily <laughs> better right. than one. Yeah. Huh. I don't know what school you went to, sir. <laughs> yeah. That's my shampoo conditioner, two and that's one. That's right. Two and one. Do you remember the, the early days of the Pentium, right? So the Pentium came out. And then when the Pentium 2 came out, that was a pretty big deal. But it was a, a shift for Intel because they used to increment their big numbers. They went from the 280, or 8086 to the 286 to the 386 to the 486. The Pentium was technically the 586. And then they stopped. They never went to a 686 or 786. And that was because... Their, their incremental gains were not as significant as they used to. Like each processor version that came out just wasn't that much better than the one before. Well, Apple hasn't learned that lesson yet. So with the, the M2, it's the next generation of their M1 processor, but it's not a huge leap. And Apple's marketing, they're the first ones to tell you that a product is revolutionary and the best processor they've ever made. But even they couldn't hide the fact that it's only about an 18% performance gain over the M1. So if you have the, the comparable amount of cores on an M1 and an M2, you're really going to get about a 20% speed boost. Now, that's not nothing. So, you know, there, there's some value there, but it's not upgrade neighborhood for me. So if you're on an M1 system, there's not really anything that's pushing you to jump to an M2. The M2 is being released in the uh, the Airbooks first, which is Apple's kind of lower end devices. So I expect it to be next year before we see the M2s that really make a difference. But it is showing that Apple's really committed to their own homegrown, uh, homegrown processors. They're going to continue developing those, and it's just going to keep evolving. If you if you're still on an Intel system, yeah, you'll want to jump <laughs> to an M2. Just skip over the like, M1. Yeah, I do. Yeah, this, but this if you're already on an M1, it's not worth the upgrade. All right, Don, I want to play. I want to play devil's advocate for you here because they said roughly around a twenty percent increase, which is roughly one fifth more than it was before, right? Put it in the perspective: right. is that Alaska? Is that a big place or a small place land-wise? Uh, Would land you say? Wise, I believe, isn't it the biggest? Is it bigger than Texas? It, yes, it's bigger than Texas. Big place. Okay. So would you say place. that it is a big place in uh, your it opinion? It does seem to be a big place. It, it is one-fifth the size of the continental United States. Okay. So if you look at it on a map, it takes up quite a land. So would you then say that one-fifth is a significant increase at that point? Gotcha. Right? Don. Nailed it. Nailed it. So, <laughs> like I said, I, I got no skin in the game. I'm just having fun. <laughs> if we were to lose Alaska, ah, well, that that's value proposition. That's not <laughs> that's not size. That's a that's a bad comparison, Don. <laughs> I mean, you know, there's a lot of nice things that come out of Alaska. There's a lot of nice people but there. But oil. Lose all the Discovery Channel shows. <laughs> yeah, it's true. They would be gone. And growing up, Alaska, buying yeah. Alaska, Bush people, wilderness town. Yeah. I don't know. Isn't there one called Bush people? There is. Yeah. yeah Alaskan Bush that's, people. That's a, who now live in like Washington state. Do so they what really? are you going to do? Yeah. yeah. Not Bush person. It, now. it is our main supply of moose, I believe. Yeah. So, you know, we'd lose that. They will kill you dead, yeah, by the we'd way. We'd have to start importing <laughs> Canadian <laughs> meese. Those are the meese. I believe so. This is that the plural no, of moose? Probably not. Have you guys seen, it's a, a video that's doing the rounds right now of a moose diving off a cliff into the water? <laughs> no, but I, is, I now have my homework. <laughs> it is ridiculous. Like it totally dives into the water and then just swims away like it's nothing. And I don't mean a little dive either. This is. Huh. He's like uh, half double gainer, Like vacation, right? yeah. like cliff dive kind of. Yeah. It, it's, it's like a cliff dive. Yeah. It's, it's What's like wrong 30 with this feet moose? up or something. The one I saw recently, because I thought that's what you were going to say, was there was uh, like some people by by the water, I think in Alaska, and they were watching a, a moose was chasing a bear. And the bear goes into the water and the moose no is like, stinking no way. problem. I'm, I'm in the water yeah. too. And it's like chasing it in the water. <laughs> it's like, come at me, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like, no, uh, no yeah. bear was involved in this one, but oh. it's you know, like the, the moose is halfway down a cliff face, and I was watching it like, how's the moose going to get back up? And then it just jumps. It, it's not, <laughs> apparently. He's like, yeah, I'm going for a swim, dude. Well, we've all got our homework. If you enjoyed that segment, be sure to check out our entire podcast available in the playlist right here. And you can always subscribe to stay up to date with the latest tech news and other happenings in the IT world. Be sure to tune in every Thursday for new episodes. I hope to see you there.